Um, you know, my, we're living in a two bedroom apartment right now and my kids have no place to play and everything like that. And I want to get them into a house. Um, I'm pre-qualified and everything like that. The kids, you know, it's all concrete around where we live. There's not a damn tree or a squirrel anywhere around. Uh, I want my kids to run. You know, I used to, I grew up on a farm. I want my kids to run through some grass and stuff like that. Uh, you got anything like that? Uh, yeah, Carlotta, let me ask you a quick question. Uh, you, 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 if I was able to find something like that, that uh, would, how would that make you feel? It would make me feel, uh, yeah, it'd probably make me feel okay, I guess. I don't know. Well, let's pretend, let's, uh, you know, I, I got a friend of mine who, who was the exact same situation. Um, you know, he, him and his family, he had three kids, his wife, they lived in an apartment complex and uh, had neighbors above them that would have all kinds of cats and dogs and they were really down on their luck. But you know, uh, what they were able to do was uh, they ended up having a change in their, in their life. And, and then they got this great place where it was, you know, had a swimming pool, had a huge, large backyard. Okay, and use adjectives. Use, you know, the, can you imagine the water? You hear the kids splashing and laughing, and it's a hot day. It's a hot day, and they're in the, they're having fun, and you're on the barbecue, and the, and the burgers are sizzling. Uh, okay. Use that, use those five senses that we talked about. Bring them into the story. Got you, got you. All okay. right. Uh, you got plenty of time. You know, I, I had a friend of mine. Uh, well, no, no, I, you said tell a story. So, uh, yeah, I had a friend of mine. He had a, they, they had moved up their two bedroom apartment, just like you, sir. And, and man, they got a big pool. You could, the kids were jumping in, water was splashing everywhere and you can hear them laughing and giggling. The wife was making burgers on the grill and you could just smell the meat and, and smell. Uh, we're, we're vegans. Uh, well, well, you know, you could grill peppers and onions and, 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 and you know, have the most delicious uh, smells and, and just the weather, the breeze was nice against their face and everything. And I was able to find them a property uh, that, that they only dreamt about. If I could do that for you, you know, imagine what, what would you want to, how, how would that make you feel? You know, I, I just want the kids to grow up in a better life than I had. You know, I, I, I can't stand that they're in this concrete jungle right now. I mean, I want a house. Uh, I want a place that, uh, you know, they can have the grass and, and the manure between their toes. Um, let's imagine for a second, Claude. Just pretend. Close your eyes. Imagine that you were able to have your kids in this wonderful place where they had grass between their toes. They run out into the fields and roll in the grass and, and, and play with their pets. And you were able to be a happy father as you saw them enjoying the things that you were able to enjoy. Is, is that something that you would like to do today? Yeah. Is it going to be expensive? Uh, maybe. Oh, that's good. Okay. You got, you got it. <laughs> you painted a vision. I, he said something. Did anyone pick up what Chris said? He said one thing that not many of us say very often about the eyes. What did he say? Did anyone pick that up, that he said that to me? And I did it, by the way. I did it immediately. What did Chris close your say? Eyes. He said, close your eyes. Adrian, back up. Adrian. Oh, Misha's jumping up and down there like John Tr like, um, no. like What's his name? Oh, on, on the Oprah show on the couch. What was his name? Oh, God. No, no, no. no. <laughs> remember that guy? Remember? Yeah, well, I know uh, that guy. That guy and I have a history. Not that, that guy. That, that actor. Uh, help me out. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Nastiest <laughs> human beings on the face of the earth. I know this firsthand. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have, I, I just wanted to know, to, back to Adrian, our resident expert here. When Chris said to me, close your eyes, yeah. I really did it. I, I didn't even, I just closed my eyes. I, I could have kept them open for it, but I, I wanted to close my eyes. How important is that in persuasion and should we do that? That's a good question actually, because when, so when, he, when he did it, I was actually thinking, um, the reason I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mention it is because it's so natural to me in a, in a hypnotic context. But in sales, like I don't, I don't, think, I don't think people do. And Hopefully, he's not dry. Hopefully, I was not driving a car when I was doing it, of course. Yeah. No, no, but it's, <laughs> no, but it's actually really interesting because, because of the fear um, people have of hypnosis and people are becoming more and more aware of it, 
and especially with the likes of the man that got charged in America for that sexual assault. I don't know if you read about that. Um, getting getting someone to close their eyes is a form is a form of hypnosis, and I don't I don't know I I actually don't know whether it's a good idea or a bad idea from a sales point of view because the prospect might think you're actually trying to do something unethical. I, I, I like that. That was a great answer. That, that was a brilliant answer. I never thought of it like that. How about if you did it the right way? If you have the bond, you have the trust. And I said something, Misha, you know, you, you've really given me great information. And I want to help you paint a picture or visualize in your mind. You know, are you in a comfortable place, Misha? Yes, I am. Would you mind closing? Would you mind? I'm asking. Could, could I just change that? Could I change that to one thing? Sure. Just, just so, I, so I, cause it just came to my head. Rather than um, if you mind, um, you could say something like, um, and then then you're giving them choice, so they can't say anything to you. I would say something like, if you were to close your eyes. Okay, thank you. Good constructive and, criticism. I imagine something like, would it be okay? That's choice. I like yeah, but, that choice. Yeah, but but would would it be okay? Is um, you're you're still asking them. Okay. Would it be okay? Would it be okay? It's asking them. Where, and, where, if you were to, is giving them the option whether they want to or not. And the whole point of this is, is not to put them in a trance and make them act like a chicken. It's to get help them paint that picture in their mind, whether their eyes are open or closed. Yeah. I think the more relaxed you are, the more you can see yourself in that house or selling that house or making money or whatever you're trying to persuade or influence them on. I think it helps to paint that picture in the, in the mind much better. So I just wanted to bring that up because I, I don't know if Chris did that intentionally or not, but it, it, it worked. If you watch the video when I send it later, man, my eyes are closed for 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. I'm very susceptible to suggestion. If you talk to me about a wonderful pizza with, with all the trimmings and a good glass of, uh, of, um, of, 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 of wine, red French wine, and everything, and I, you know, I'll start salivating. That's how easy I'm. I am influenced by the right words from the right person. I'm easily influenced. I'll think about that pizza all day long, and then I'll go to Claudia, honey, we gotta have pizza for dinner tonight, you know. <laughs> and then we'll argue because she made something else for dinner, or okay? <laughs> whatever. That's just because one person said that. That's how easily I am susceptible to this. This is very good for. I do you guys see the. Do you guys see this as something useful? The right words, painting pictures, asking questions and, and for use in your sales and persuading other people? Yeah. To me, this is so much more valuable than giving a, a speech or a canned presentation. Or getting, getting so much more emotionally involved with people. Let's do another role play. Um, okay, somebody, who's next? Who has 